what's up guys Hong OG Fitness here with my buddy hero so this is just me on top of a hill let me show you I know it doesn't look like a hill yet but wait let me turn around yeah they installed this shit because because it's a hill at a park right uh, in winter they, they add snow and shit and then after that they do like slides for the kids you know and for families so that's kind of cool but I mean it looks like shit once you get up here so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is actually downhill, right? And then from here, if I angle off a little bit, you can kind of see the city. Wait, sorry about that. And there you go. Oh, no, that's just pure trash. There you go. You go this way. Anyways, you got downtown somewhere there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's over there. Because I'm in the southwest where I live right here in, uh, in Montreal. And uh, so... This is where I come, like now I'm on, on my second uh, run for today with my, uh, with my dog, right, with Hero. And we're about, uh, what, is, what is it now, about 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Usually, I'm up here at about 4 in the morning. I get up at 4, I hit the road about 4.10, I get here about 4.20, right? So I'm up, up and down this, uh, this mountain right here, well, mountain, cliff or whatever, right? So, and it's dark, man. There's nobody outside, so I do whatever the hell I want. And what I do is that I run. There's also a track over there. I don't think you guys can see from here. Anyways, just take my word for it. There's a track over there. So I go down there. I work out. I run a bit. Then uh, they got they got like bars, you know, like uh, uh, pull up bars and dip bars and all kinds of shit. So I go do that. And then I run up here. And then. There's a little platform right here like this, so right on this thing here, doing some push-ups. By the time I get up, push-ups, plunges, squats. After that, I run back down. And then uh, either I run back up or I just keep running around uh, the park, you know. It's a pretty half-decent park. It's not huge, but yeah. So that's what I do, guys. I'm on I'm on the 4, uh, what do you call it, 4 a.m. grind now. So it's been like five days I've been getting my ass up at... Uh, four in the morning and I'm doing it just because well I feel like it man you know like what else uh, what else we're gonna do uh, I feel as though I get a lot more done have a lot more time for myself and then from there you know by the time nine o'clock comes I go to bed man nine nine thirty I hit the sack wake up the next day at four and then go about my business you know so the first thing I do is wake up get dressed right away and it's been I've been doing this the jogging I started today, like uh, today and yesterday, but the 4 p.m., the 4 a.m. thing, I started that maybe about five days ago. So the first three days were pretty rough, but then by the third day, you get used to it. And yeah, I feel that as though I get a lot more shit done, I'm more organized, more disciplined, you know, and I think it's important to have a routine and uh, work towards whatever you're trying to work towards. In my case, well, I got, I want to stay in shape and I want to hit the ground running when his quarantine lifts and the whole judo thing, the black belt and all that. So, you know, I better to, you know, prepare for things when, um, when things are easy, you know, not try to do this shit when stuff gets hard. And what I mean by hard is that, well, when you, um, when life goes back to normal, more or less, well, we're all going to be busy, right? So you're back into your whole routine and stuff like that. Then it's hard to like do what I'm trying to do right now, but I get into the habit of doing it now, it's gonna be pretty easy later on. So that's it for this, guys. Just wanted to show you the park. This is where I am pretty much every single morning. I might vlog it, I don't know, but I mean, you can't really see shit at four in the morning, man. It's so dark, but you know what? I'm gonna try, and uh, that's it. Then I come back here. Most of the time, I'm back in this park in the evening, too. Sometimes I go to this other park. It's even a bigger park where it's like a it's like a mini forest, right? You could literally get lost there and, and whatever, you know? So that's it, guys. This is it. I mean, I'll show you a better view of it later on, but at another point. But this is where I'm at. I run hills. The good thing about running hills, because I got bad knees, right? And if uh, some of you guys have bad knees too, I'm sure some of you do, is that you run, uh, I, I try to avoid running on pavement as much as possible, so I'm running on grass. Now, if I want to really go hard, right, I 
I'd rather him uh, sprint up a hill. That way it's much easier on the knees. And at the same time, like it, uh, it gets, you, you don't have to go as fast because you're going uphill. So already if you're trying to act, go really as fast as you can uphill, it's safe on your knees and it gives you a, like a, a really good workout there, you know, for your VO2 max and all. So that's the thing. I'm going to save my knees and running on pavement when I actually have to. You know, I don't know, zombie apocalypse or whatever, street fighting or running away from a bunch of dudes, you know, who knows. But uh, that's it. So run as much as possible on soil right and uphill if you can if you have a park or anything like that it's better for your knees so that's it guys see you in the next one peace